Yo, what's up? Okay, so this is a job that we did. It was uh, 9,500 bucks and we're gonna do a walk around and I'm gonna show you exactly what we did and it's all done now. And here's the crazy thing. <laughs> We've had a drought here in Michigan and even though all the grass grew back in, I'm gonna walk around and show you everything that we did real quick and I'll show you the process. But even though all the grass grew in beautifully, we've had no rain. So all the now the grass that was beautiful, luscious green. It was so beautiful a few weeks ago. Now it's all like brown everywhere, literally everywhere. So, all right, check this out. Uh, they had a, a tree here, and it was a ring of like rocks, and they wanted all of it gone. And there was a huge root sticking up everywhere. And this is just a crab apple tree. So we ground some of these just really big roots that were sticking up we just flattened them out and everything's fine but we uh put you know top soil peat moss grass straw and now brand new grass here we did trim all the shrubs on the property and clean everything up we repaired all this wood right here some of it was broken and messed up so we just fixed it this right here was a garden bed it came all the way out to here and went all the way to the wall. We removed the garden bed and turned it all into grass. And then we rebuilt it right there so it just goes to the wall. It's a smaller version of itself. All right. So, uh, the customer wanted to reuse these landscaping timbers that they wanted to cut down. And so this is what we did. Salvaged the best that we could from it. Cut it down, staggered them, reused the rebar. fun part coming here in the backyard this was a really fun job just being here right now Here there was like a big root, so we ground it all down, re-leveled it with grass seed. Now it's grass again. Back here, there was two uh, spruce trees. They were like that size, pretty good size. We removed them, completely got rid of them. And then this whole area was, uh, you know, just all roots. So we ground the stumps thoroughly, removed everything, dug, you know, about two to three inches below grade, and then put all brand new fresh topsoil with grass seed, peat moss, and straw. So this is all grass again. And there was uh, power lines running directly underneath the root systems. So we had 1-800 miss dig, they called and flagged it all out. And we had to very carefully work around it all to uh, the lines. It was fine, right? Like. Uh, here you go around the pool all this edging and new cobblestone we installed around the whole pool because uh, It was just totally like you know 20 years old and all the edging was falling apart rocks mixed in with dirt We did all this we did the rocks underneath the patio all these racks did all this edging and racks underneath the patio here the monster arborvitae shrub that was going up and dumping debris all over the house ground the stump very carefully new grass seed actually this was a whole garden bed we removed it turned it back into grass seed this all back here was one big garden bed with stuff all over the place and rocks and dirt we just removed it all regraded it with topsoil turn it back to grass low maintenance here uh, yeah we cleaned all this up. All this is brand new weed barrier fabric and cobblestone, so everything's nice and clean and organized. And uh, that's the job. And it was fun. So, I've been experimenting with 
just uh, giving the guys GoPros and letting them videotape while they work and showing you the process. I really like the videos like uh, Tiger and Gertz used to do where he shows the whole process from beginning, middle, and end. What it all looks like. I guess unfortunately for me, running a landscape business and doing all this, and I know I'm making the videos to, to, to document the entire process with a million other things going on, it hasn't worked for me. So hats off to Tigran for being so incredibly organized and being able to document the entire process and put it all together. All right, so I've been grinding away at this arborvitae stump. And this right here is a tricky one, so I have to keep like grinding a little bit, clearing out, grinding a little bit, clear out a little more. And I'm running into finding myself that the majority of this root really is packed in around there. So I'm going to do use the sawzall. I'm just gonna hack away at those chunks, kind of pull everything away in a more controlled manner, away from the sub pump piping. five shovel loads and just one fair swoop with my arms.
Yeah, dog. Next, we're about to hit 150,000 subscribers soon. Been making videos here on this channel since 2013. I was one of the original YouTubers and the first YouTuber to go full blown vlogging, landscaping. Actually, oh my God. I was the first landscaping YouTube vlogger on YouTube, period, to vlog my landscape business. Look it up. Yeah, dog.